When you emit a ton of CO2 into the atmosphere today, it stays around for at least 100 years. So this ton of CO2 is going to harm others for a long time. But how much do we value damages in the future? This is one of the most important questions in determining climate policy. And in this video, I will show you why. First, let's start with a simple example. If you invest one euro in 2020 at a 2% interest rate, you get an amount of 4.9 euros back in 2100. So about four times more than what you started with. But if you invest it at a 5% interest rate, you get 49.6 euros. Similarly, if you want to know the current value of a future amount, you have to discount it back to the present. So if you cause a damage of a euro in 2100, that is worth about 21 cents today at a discount rate of 2%. But at a discount rate of 5%, it is worth 2 cents today. Let's see this visually. In this graph, years are shown on the horizontal axis. On the vertical axis is the value of the damage discounted back to 2020. Now the blue dotted line shows that for our simulation, in each year, the damage is 1 euro. Now first, in 2100, as we just saw, the 1 euro is worth 20 cents today at a discount rate of 2% and two cents at a 5% discount rate. An additional example is 2030. The one euro damage in 2030 at a 2% discount rate is valued at 82 cents in 2020. With a 5% discount rate, it drops to just 61 cents. And you can also see that the decrease in the present discounted value is much faster at a 5% interest rate than at a 2% interest rate. So that's why the discount rate matters so much. Now, let's switch to actual numbers. In a paper I worked on, and which was published in the top economic journal, we analyzed the impact of climate change on mortality. Because as temperatures go up, more people die from extreme heat. Now, in the paper, we convert these deaths to a dollar value. There's a lot of assumptions that go into it, but I will not discuss those in this video. The main results are the following. The present discounted value of all the damages of one ton of CO2 is $36.6, per ton of CO2. And this happens at a discount rate of 2%. With a discount rate of 3%, the damage is $14.2 per ton. And with a discount rate of 5%, it drops down to $3.7 per ton of CO2. So you can see that the discount rate has a massive impact on how we evaluate climate damages and thus on climate policy. But now, which discount rate should we use? Well, around 2010, it used to be that a discount rate of 3 and 5% was preferred. But in the paper, we advocate for a discount rate of 2%, as this is more in line with recent global capital markets. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.